My name is Emily. I'm part of a band called Arbor Season. That's also the name of our bus. We travel full time playing music, my husband and I. And we got two kids and a nanny and we love our bus. So come on in, I'll show you around. So this is our main living space that we've got going on here. This is kind of the work area. So my husband has this cool little steering wheel cover where he can do all of his emails, reading, all of that fun yeah, stuff. Yeah, my driver's seat is probably the most comfortable seat in, the, in my bus. It's so comfy. And we got this out of like a van at a junkyard because yeah. the one that this came with was like too bouncy. Yeah. <laughs> we would be driving and he was like this. I'm, I'm looking for bus. something like that with arms, especially for back in the, the living area. Oh yeah, because you want it to be comfy. Like you don't want to yeah. be sitting in something gross and plastic <laughs> well i need something with a little back support especially yes. if it reclines a little bit oh you can kick your feet up and if that's i can figure favorite. out how to make it so it swivels and slides under the table oh that's just like bonus <laughs> yeah <laughs> That'd be golden so anyway back awesome. here yeah so we've got um a double sink here and <laughs> we painted it black because i thought it would go with our interior so don't paint stainless steel it's a bad idea <laughs> But I learned my lesson. Um, so we keep a bunch of stuff up in our cabinets, you know, the normal stuff like plates and we got all of our like snacks. This is basically our pantry. So this is where I keep my dry goods and things. We've got some storage under the couch here. Canned goods, potatoes, rice, and then this is where we keep games because we like to play board games with our friends. So. Sure. And we have a 48 gallon fresh water tank under the couch as well. It's all the fresh water that we have and it goes really really fast so yeah. definitely want to upgrade to 100 gallons as soon as possible but we had budgetary issues when we were building the bus so we were like we can do it we can do 48 yeah. gallons <laughs> yeah and it evolves over time oh yeah we yeah. have rebuilt half of this bus already even i keep in just people keep years. Hearing me say schoolies are never done, they're done ish. Yeah, that's so that is so and true. I, look, and you've got like a hair tie to keep the, the yeah, doors so closed. this is how we secure them when we drive. Yeah. We just and so far, nothing has ever fallen out, even on the biggest potholes and bumps and crazy roads. So, yeah. it does a pretty good job. And if you lose them, you can always buy more. <laughs> and if I ever need one for my hair, I can just like grab one. Sure, I've got, I've got a whole pile of them because I one at a time until they break and then yep. I, got, I got more. Exactly. So we have a propane stove and oven here that we got from Facebook Marketplace. We really need a new one. Um, <laughs> one of these days, but you know, that's one of those upgrades where I'm like, so far it still works, so it's all right. Um, and this is our full refrigerator and freezer. It runs on just 1.5 amps, so super energy efficient and there's like a lot of space right. so with you know two kids that eat constantly and three adults in here i need to be able to like fill up a big fridge so we can eat all week <laughs> and um this is just like a little miscellaneous cabinet we've got crafts and cables and the things that you like don't need every day but right. you need them eventually and so you just don't want to get rid of them <laughs> and uh, we got our tv swivels around like that in fact i will i'll move it when you come back here so you can look inside the utility closet but we do plan on expanding this and like making our table bigger and um changing some of this around so that more people can sit here because at this point in time our kids eat at the table and we all sit on the couch yeah so you make it work it's, it's not so bad um so come on back i'll show you the utility closet you're gonna laugh when you see this utility Closet, we'll it's, see. It's a tiny space here. I'll let you come on this side. We'll kind of like do a little switcheroo here so I can move the TV. It's right here. And I want you to imagine when the water pump breaks or anything, having to go in there and work on stuff. <laughs> Good thing your husband's skinny. I know. I'm like, listen, if you ever needed another reason to not eat too much sugar, it's, if you ever want to fix something, you just, you can't do it. You got to stay off the sweets. <laughs> so all of our solar stuff is in there. We've well, got our- I could fit in there. Yeah. I, I wouldn't be able to get back out. But you could fit in there as yeah. long as you can get You'd in You'd have to, to just it. keep throwing food in. I'd be fine. That's great. This is our bathroom right over here. So we kept the bathroom separate from the shower just because men take a long time in the bathroom. Yeah. And sometimes you don't want to wait to take a shower. You know what right. I'm saying? It's. We keep it separate. So nature's head composting toilet. We love it. We lived in an RV with a black water tank for four years 
and I would never go back to that ever. Having to find a place to dump it and pay to do that every like three days was never fun. Yeah. So we've got two bunk beds back here. This top bunk is our four-year-old's bed. This is where he sleeps. And down here is where our traveling nanny sleeps. So we have a nanny because we play music for a living. So when we're doing our job, we need someone to watch the kids. So sure. she's like a designated babysitter. There you go. And it's really fun. This is where she keeps all of her stuff, but she wants, she, it's very disorganized. So she doesn't want anyone to see it. It's okay. <laughs> Um, and this is basically just like kid zone in here. So we have like all of the books, the toys, the fun kid things. We've got toddler clothes, stuff like that. Wherever it fits, that's where it goes. I try oh, to keep course. it semi-organized, but you know, everything gets messy after a while. Um, this is our shower. We use it for storage when we're not using it to get clean. So. Every school uses the shower for it's storage. It's such a great place because you yeah. only use it for a few minutes at a time. Yeah. And you, keep, you get the curtain closed. So we put this basin in here. It's just a $30 galvanized steel tub from Tractor Supply Company because mm -hmm. I wanted to be able to give the kids baths, you know, and them not have to do showers because right. what two-year-old likes to take a shower? You know, it's just, it's too much. So we really love this. It works out great it, there's just enough room for us to stand up in there sometimes i have to kind of like do this to get my hair wet but <laughs> yeah well. it's not too bad and this is like our closet where we keep most of our clothes laundry some more baby clothes we've got um a bunch of storage under here a lot of storage so basically like our out of season clothing goes over there like swimsuits in the winter and things sure. like that this is one of our diesel heaters um, this one only comes on when it's like really, really, really cold, like negative temperatures, which does happen sometimes in the places that we're in. So we just clear everything out of the way and use that. So lots of storage there. And then yeah, for when I met you all, you guys were up in the Adirondacks. Yeah. And I was trying to, there, somebody up there was saying about the, what the weather was like down here mm -hmm. in the summertime. And I told him, like, in the wintertime, it's like what it is in the summertime in the Adirondacks. Yes. That's, this temperature right here, is, that's a day in the Adirondacks. I love it. That's, like, what we live for. We actually are going to Boise next week. And, I mean, it's February in Boise, and it's going to be cold and snowy, and we're, like, so excited about it. Yeah. <laughs> we love the cold weather, and since we moved, um, we have 500 amp hours of lithium batteries, and we moved them inside. And ever since we did yeah. that and got, we have three diesel heaters now. I'm like, there's nothing to worry about. Our pipes don't freeze because they're all plumbed inside. The only thing that can freeze is yep. our gray water tank. And if that's not even like a really big problem because we can just like catch the water from washing dishes or whatever in a bowl and like dump it outside. So sure. now that we have that system, we're like, okay, we're winter ready. We can do it. <laughs> there you go. So yeah. And this is just, this is a king size mattress. We just turned it sideways so that it would like go wall to wall because we're not like really tall so like our feet don't hang off the edge but yeah yeah this is like our this is my favorite part of the bus i love it back here and we have two air conditioners that we use in the summer so this one back here and these are just we got these at walmart they're like 200 bucks but they're made by a mini split company so they're like 450 watts each when they're fully running and they really cool this place down so sure. it's about the same amount of energy as one mini split but this way we have one back here and one up front right because it's such a big bus you know if you have a mini split back here like it would be freezing back here and not so cold up there right. so this way it kind of evens it out a and of course bit. you can block it off yes. to, to keep it all just in we here do. if you want sure. yes so the bathroom door is really cool because when you open it it has like a little latch to separate the front from the back because right. when our kids are sleeping and stuff you know then it's quieter back here you can have all the people it's Yep. Sit around chatting and not bother oh, yeah. them. You can't hear anything back here. When that door is closed, it's like magic. I don't know if it's just all the clothing back here absorbs the sound, but like you can't hear that anyone's even out there. So could you hear the, the music that yes. play at night? <laughs> we can hear that. <laughs> That's different because the whole bus, you can feel it when your head yeah. is on the pillow. It's like boom, boom, boom. I'm, boom. I'm farther away. We're at Schooly Palooza and on the music side and you're on the far end of the music side, about as far as I am in the quiet side away, uh -huh. I'm mostly deaf. I take my hearing aids off. I I can hear. Yeah. But you're going to have to speak up. Yeah. But I go to bed at midnight and I hear boom, 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 boom. You boom, can't boom. not hear it. Yeah. That's, this is one of the tricks. But I can also think it's it's just the wind and trick oh, myself into just... going to sleep. It's just 
you know. White noise. Uh -huh. And we have one over there that's by where our son sleeps and then one back here. I mean, this may sound weird, but the way my hearing is, yeah, I don't hear like crickets. I hear white noise. No kidding. So when I take these off, it's like lay down at night and because there's noise. no other sound other than the, the fan and the heater and it's real quiet, I hear built-in white noise. I guess. <laughs> That's how you can look at it, right? Or it's, or it's the echo in my empty head. I don't know. It's one <laughs> of those you, things. Maybe a little bit of both. It's fine. Yeah, who knows? <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, we already covered how to get a hold of you if people have questions or they want to yeah. find out where you're appearing so they can go listen to your music. Or... Arbor Season. It's If you remember our band name, then you've got the whole thing locked in because you can Google our band name and you've got access to our instagram facebook spotify our yep. email is just arbor season at gmail it's a r b o u r season because my husband's canadian so he has to do it the <laughs> canadian way <laughs> oh well yeah I we know. won't hold that against him you will try not to yeah and i can attest you guys are good thank you i spent a lot of time that that one weekend in, in uh, long lake Mm -hmm. Little listening to you guys, so that's so sweet. Well, we love right. to do it. It's what we do full time for our job. So I would be really bummed if we were really bad at it, because then we wouldn't be able to make any money from it anymore. Yeah. Oh. Well, thank you for the tour. Thank you so much.